right, folks, well, hold your breath. Make a wish. Count to three. Are you doing all that? Mm -hmm. She is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I couldn't, you can't answer if you're holding your breath. Uh, and head out to the chemo theater because you will be in a world of pure imagination. Love it. Uh, to see one of the best musicals of all time. Yes, in my opinion. that's right. And you can get your golden ticket to the performance of Willy Wonka Jr. And joining us now is the star of the show, standing at six foot six. With the hat seven feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Along with executive director of New Mexico Young Actors, Rick Nickerson. Hello. Uh, hello. We're excited that you're here, Willy Wonka. Yeah, Thank we've had a lot of fun. We're going to see some magic here from Willy Wonka here in a couple seconds. But uh, Nick, what do you think makes this uh, this musical so timeless, and why kids love it? Why audiences just keep coming back for Willy Wonka? It's just so colorful. You, you have the spoiled little brats, Baruka salsa violin, mm -hmm. and you know the, the spoiled little kids, and then you have little Charlie, mm -hmm. just honest and. Uh, meaning well, and, and the Bucket family, they're going through some pretty hard times, and uh, they see that golden ticket, and they mm -hmm. just want just a little bit of luck and fortune, and they get that opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, th I think they just, uh, I love the storyline of mm -hmm. uh, the child that just deserves an opportunity at life yeah. Yeah. and gets that So you play Willy Wonka, that's kind of a big role. Yes. What makes <laughs> you different? So I know actors, they try and connect with something mm -hmm. that they've experienced or something. Are you just like a big candy lover? Is that what you have to connect <laughs> with? Like what makes you different as your portrayal of Willy Wonka? Um, well, I looked at many different things. I read the book um, okay. to make sure that I stayed true to Roald, Roald Dahl's version of Willy Wonka. Okay. And um, one of the things that I thought was interesting is in all the movies that you see, they always play him as sort of like this crazy young starter. And um, he, Roald Dahl actually wanted him to be about 65 years old. So mm -hmm. what I decided to do with this character is actually make him his age, but mm -hmm. still ha give him that magical, whimsical, and still really hyperactive attitude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I think that that's important because then it really does sort of give, if the character is a bit older, it gives sort of a timelessness, mm -hmm. you know, that a forever young sort of feel to it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, speaking of forever young and some of the whimsy that you bring into it, uh, you, Max, you're a magician. Yes, I am. So you bring in a little bit of magic to the show to add some of that whimsy. Uh, and, and now, Rick, did you direct this show? I did. You did. So you allowed that to, to come in and help inform yeah. his character, his interpretation of it. Is that right? I think it's a vital part of a production is that the actors bring their own creativity to mm -hmm. their character, their own interpretation. Mm -hmm. And Max certainly has done a very good job mm -hmm. of that. I think the audience, the kids are going to be odd. It's going to be fun, gotcha. exciting. Mm -hmm and um, yeah. imaginative. So you got a little bit of something for Brittany? Yes, a bit absolutely. Of magic for we got some flowers for you there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. All right, so uh, just very quickly, so we can make sure that, that audiences get out to see this. Uh, when is it opening? I know that you have a lot of public performances. Where did that come from? Come from? <laughs> uh, you have public performances and performances for school kids as well, right? So what are the details on how audiences can see this show? Well, obviously the school performances are sold out, mm -hmm. but if they call the chemo theater, at 768-344 uh, or uh, check online at chemotickets.com or they can purchase tickets at the door. Mm -hmm. uh, please do so and we would love to see them. And the shows so. are great. I mean, these kids are so talented. Yeah, and you've seen some of the New Mexico Young Actors shows before. I went and saw Little Mermaid because my sister was in mm -hmm. it and she played an eel. And it is, it is so cool. Thank I you. love it. Fantastic. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we will have all the information that you need for New Mexico Young Actors in case you want to get your kids involved in this organization or you just want to head out and see Willy Wonka Jr. Head over to Casa.com and click on the Style tab.